So in this lesson, we are going to be taking a look at uh, integrating MetaMask and OpenSea in Builder. Um, what you're going to learn in this tutorial is how to use the new actions in Builder that we have for MetaMask that lets you connect to your wallet and retrieve your wallet ID. Um, you're also going to learn how to use the OpenSea API to pass that wallet ID in and get a list of NFTs that are in that wallet back. And then uh, we'll also learn how to take that list of NFTs that we get from the OpenSea API and load those into a grid list element in Builder. Um, what we're gonna be building is just a simple uh, profile page. So I've got kind of a starter template here um, that I've set up and I've got my, in the upper left, um, you know, my little profile box where I've got a photo, a Twitter handle, my name and a quick bio. Um, and on the right hand side, um, this is where I will be loading in my list of NFTs into a grid and I want to be able to click on one of them. And when I click on one of them, it's going to change out my profile photo for the image of the NFT that I selected. So just kind of a quick example of how you could um, add MetaMask and OpenSea um, functionality to your app and let your users interact with their wallets and their tokens. Um, if you're not familiar, just kind of a quick intro, MetaMask is a uh, crypto wallet um, that allows you to store um, your tokens or NFTs in them, as well as, um, you know, Ethereum. Um, so you can connect MetaMask um, by downloading their app. They have um, a extension for the browser. Um, so if you're using Chrome or Firefox, um, you can uh, download the extension. There's also a mobile app as well. Um, and OpenSea is a sort of NFT marketplace. Um, it, you can sort of discover, buy, sell, um, display your NFTs, and uh, that's what we'll be using to pull our images in. So uh, that's what we're uh, going to be building today. And in the next lesson, we'll get started with MetaMask.